using his feet to power this machine. And it looks like he's just uh, doing some sanding here. Doing a fine job. Talking to my good friend here, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello, brother. How's it going today? Oh, pretty good. Oh, looks like you guys got a nice operation here. You sell lots of gas? Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you, I suppose you see some pretty nice cars. Very fun cars. Very fun. Ah, nice. You got some regular and premium gas. Here, I see. Hmm. What are the prices? Looks like a 17 and a half cents a gallon. How about that? Hmm. Oh, here, here is premium. Oh, 17 and a half cents per gallon. How about that? And then, oh, this looks like the uh, place to get your oil here. You just fill it up like this, turn the crank, put the oil on there, pay the guy, walk up to your car, and pour it in. Nice. Excellent service. I love this place. I'm sure I'll be back. Alright. Ooh, get a shot. Right. Nice car. Oh, yeah, actually, can we have you hold up your what you got there? Nice. Perfect. This is how people did it back in the day. Very nice. This is how they used to get lights in these times. 
Welcome to my grandpa and grandma Severson's house. Oh, okay. I'll show you through. Grandpa Severson? Severson. All right, what's your name? I'm Ruby Severson Torkels. Ruby, hello, my name's Tyler. Hi. With Access Television. Okay. We're just checking some things out. We decided to start with this place. It looks like a nice place. Right. Um, what, did, what did they do back in the day? Well, grandpa came here in 1867. He came and he was a lumberjack in Wisconsin until 1881 when he started the first general store in Underwood. Uh, the first general store in Underwood. Which is just east of Fergus Falls. I'll show you a picture over here of him okay. and his wife, my grandma. His name is Oli and her name was Barrett. Severson. Yeah. And so you can see here that when he came in 1887, he was here for 20 years before he went back to Norway and had started the store already. And he went back to Norway in 1886 and married Grandma. They were married in Trondheim. And they both grew up south of Trondheim, Trondheim about 50 miles, and uh, they were in neighboring farms. Grandma is 19 years old on that picture, and Grandpa is 44. Oh, nice. 25 years of difference in age. 25 years difference in age. Okay, they had 12 children. 12 children. The first seven were born about the store in Underwood. Right here. Right above the store in Underwood. Right above the store in Underwood. Okay. Then they moved, in 1900, they moved here. It, it moved south of Underwood to this house. It is right directly across from the uh, high school, the school in Underwood there. Uh, the 210, that highway was not there at the time. Uh, this is the last five. They were all born in this house. These are the twins. This is my father and my mother. This is my mother was a Lund. This is the day they got married. Well, my grandpa Adam F. Lund built everything that's in the Tingle Church on the Outer Tail Lake Road. Oh, nice. Some of his equipment is here at the Thresherman's. Okay. When Olaf, the youngest son, was born, Grandpa Ole was 70 years old and Barrett was 45. Wow. Okay. I have 44 of my generation. 44, nice. This, this is my, my mom and dad. And this is me. My brother is also here today, and so is my sister, Janelle Richard. Okay. My brother lives in Glenwood. My sister's in Minneapolis. I have been married to Robert Torkelson for 50, almost 52 years. Nice. Okay. Okay, there's 44, there's still 25 letting. There's 150 of the next generation. Oh, I see, nice. I really like your presentation here with the hearts. Uh, the reason we could get to 150 very quickly was these three are still letting. They're in Wisconsin and, and uh, Grand Forks. She, Grace had 10, Miller had 8, and um, Sydney had 6 children. Oh, okay. Clara never married. She lived in Underwood with Grandma. Grandma died when she was uh, 87. Grandpa, uh, 88. Grandpa was 87. Clara lived in Underwood with Grandma. Very nice. um, Ella and George never had children. Uh, this is my grandpa's home in, in uh, Norway. Uh, we, were there. we were there three years ago, and uh, their homes are covered with grass on the, in the roofs, and everything is kept up so well. Very nice. This is Grandpa and Grandma's master bedroom. Right here. Right here. Right here. Pretty nice. Original working here. This is a this is a quilt that came from the Quam Church down in this area. They uh, had a raffle and they cost them maybe a dime or a quarter to get their name put on this quilt. Oh, very nice. There are 50 circles and there's 28 names on each one of the quilts. And I'm sure anybody that comes in here, people have come in and just ooed and awed, you know, they found their relative's name. But this is the this is the master bedroom. Now I'll take you back into the living room. This is the living room. This is an original bench that was here and stood right along the wall there. That's an original bench. This uh, the stained glass window came from the Spurgeon Church in Underwood. They just uh, built a new church a few years ago. And it has the secrets and name on it. There used to be a door here. Okay. 
change. This is what the house looked like before. These are the two windows that are right here. You just came in with the floors and the Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, looks here. Looks like we got some old wounds here. Do some good voting. Right here, we just go like this. Come in here. Ah, uh, to vote. Instructions. Very good. So, we got some auxiliary flags, American flag. American flag. I love this. Here, today we're in current session. In today's verdict, this is freshman. And I declare everyone free. <laughs> so it looks like we got some baseball and bowling championships here. Very nice. Well, an old clock up there. Very cool. You can come check out this different stuff here at Dalton Threshman's. Here's some different pictures. You can come here and check out here. They're actually doing the thrashing there. Very nice. And it's great because you can you can come to this place and look through all the old history and really get yourself acquainted on how things were and how things come here. Threshman's, look there's the train. Some people enjoying themselves. Look at these kids here, aren't they adorable? We go through and some horses and just basically everything for Asherman. Good time. Several books here of pictures to look through, some names, maybe some history. History is important. It's where we come from. What's up? Let's take another look around here and see what's next. Well, this is where they used to come to school. And looks like here they'd hang their coats and hats and whatever else. Um, here, this is uh, probably where they used to put their lunch pails and such. Syrup and molasses. That's where they used to carry their school lunches in. Yep. Yeah. 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 Hello. Yeah. Very nice. So this is where the kids get their education so they can learn how to become a printer or a teacher or a good citizen. A good citizen. That's <laughs> an all around great person. My name is Tyler. What's your name? Marjorie. Marjorie, hello. Yeah. Yeah. makes a long A, like in a number word eight. Yeah, I'm Okay, well I never. Norwegian name. <laughs> oh, Norwegian. Very nice. I'm German. Okay. That's a fake one. <laughs> Here's a real one. Okay, yes. You want to be real. <laughs> Always be real when you're in school. Here we got some uh, chalkboard stuff. Oh, nice. So they can learn what day it is. Yeah. See the numbers around the back, on the, around the outside, are the shoulder numbers. Very nice. These are probably the books they used to learn from. Very nice. And here is Minnesota. The map from Minnesota is down because it's Minnesota is 150 years old. Minnesota is 150 years old. Very nice. And this is where I learned my ABCs. <laughs> Look, Dick. Look, Jane. Look and see. See, baby. See? See? Oh, 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 Dick. Look and see. See, baby. 
Very nice. I'm Dick and Jane has been repopulation. So you can buy these little books now. Oh, and Dick and Jane has been republished. You can buy these now. Google it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very cool. Look, check here. Look at this. Black, brown, orange, green, yellow, blue, white, and red. No cell phones, just you and your pencil. That's right, and your tablet. And your tablet and your pencil was made with lead. There we go. Oh yes, I remember this when I was a kid. Stay in the lines. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Here we go. Some lunch pails. Now, I don't know. <laughs> this is kind of a little bit more modern, but I like the pail. Oh, here, here. The rescuers. Very nice. I don't know about you, but I want to have some fun. Very nice. That's that's something to be proud of. 
and it's okay. such a made up superficial, isn't it? It is. It is. It's like mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. His picture on the picture. Very representable. The old helmet. Here we are. These look like old poles where it's like, all right, over here, I want to join the Air Force. Okay, that's where I would go. That's that's my hat here, my Air Force hat. Over here, looks like the Marines. Japanese flag was picked up off of the battleground. And uh, they're riding around there, and that's supposed to be names. And you can see the bullet holes and the stains, blood stains. Oh. And if we go and read about it, Charlie Stinson and his sister picked up the flag. And he gave it to Butch Larson. And uh, got it. eventually got it on him. And Butch Larson was uh, one true a senior in the Valley of Poetry. And he has written full time. Very good. Oh. He and his wife like that. Wife and uh, this was a gift to her when I went back. And they, this is the newspaper from the Holland newspaper. It was printed December 1944. Right. Oh, that's why we come here to Dalton Threshman's to see things that are in our past and history. It's good to inform yourself. This is where we come from. Well, some of us. Oh, you're accepted. Please put it, take a jacket and pants and we'll give you the rest of the stuff around the corner. <laughs> I used to look back in the day. There we go. I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure there was lots of horses too. So very nice.
the pride. Very nice, thank you. <laughs> hey, I used to play a lot of music. I got a son that played the accordion, daughter played the organ fluently. And now I got a $20,000 organ sitting there going. Oh. This is how you get around town. It's hot. Very nice.
clear that. Steaming away. Nice. Very cool looking.